haven't had much to talk about and when I do think of something to talk about then I usually put it to the side and procrastinate because I'm really good at that. Anyways, let's talk about some canyon carving today and all the things that go along with it. I love to ride in the mountains because otherwise it's just kind of street riding and that gets pretty boring. So I ride the canyons very frequently and there are many to choose from here in the good old Salt Lake City, Utah. So let's talk about all the exciting things that go along with riding in the canyons and mountains and stuff. First off, it's beautiful. It never ceases to amaze me, the beauty that is in the canyons and the mountains. And they're so big, they make me feel so small. It's, their beauty is just unbelievable. I can't even explain it. If you live in a flat town and you don't get to ride in the mountains, I feel really sorry for you and I hope that you have a really good track. So, let's talk about aggressive squirrels. Yeah, aggressive squirrels, I said it. They're the little buggers that run out halfway across the road when you're gonna go straight into them. And then they sit there and they twist their head this way and that way and they're like, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, what should I do? And then you're like, move squirrel, move, I don't wanna hit you. And it gets really scary because I don't know what would happen. And I don't want squirrel guts all over my bike if that would suck. And so then they finally make a decision like inches before you hit them and you're like, oh my gosh, did I hit them? And then you see them on the side of the road and you're like, screw you squirrel. You just totally ruined my mood because you're an idiot. Otherwise, there are tons of other things that can get in your way or distract you when you're out riding in the mountains like other animals and roadkill or stupid people who don't know how to stay in their lanes because they're in big huge cages and can't handle going through turns or you run into the people that are going like 10 miles an hour through a turn and then it's not even fun and then you go on a Sunday and you have so many other freaking people there that you can't even ride without getting into traffic in the mountains. Come on. That's ridiculous. Other than all those silly little downfalls, the canyons are absolutely incredible and I love them. I haven't ridden on the track yet so I really have nothing else to compare besides just regular street riding like I'm doing and being in the mountains and I would I mean there's no comparison I'm so bored sitting here just going in a straight line especially because this lady is going so slow but yeah even if you need to like take a trip and go and ride in the mountains do it there are so many places I could recommend to you in the U in the northern Utah area it's unbelievable Utah may not have a ton of exciting things to offer, but the mountains are one of them. So get out there and ride the mountains if you haven't already. It will change your life. So I have a lot coming up in the next couple weeks and months. I haven't had a much a lot going on lately, and that's probably another reason why I haven't really felt like I've had anything to talk about, but I have a lot coming up and a lot to talk about. Um, I just got a bunch of new gear from Icon that I'm going to be reviewing. If you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen my Sugar Armada and seen how completely badass that helmet is and how amazing the graphics are. If you haven't, go check me out on Instagram, girl on the 600. Um, I also got a new backpack besides my OGO backpack that I had for a while that I did a vlog about. Um, it's the new, I, I guess it's probably not new, but it's the Icon 3.0 Squad backpack. Um, so I'll be doing a review on that pretty quick. And um, also the new Icon 
Overlord jacket in purple. I'm pretty excited about that. So I will be talking about that pretty soon. I haven't brought it out yet, but you will be seeing it very shortly, probably in the next week or so. I will also be doing a review on my new tires that I'm pretty excited about. I went from the Michelin, um, what did I go from? The Michelin something or other, I can't remember, um, to the new Bridgestone S20s, and I'm pretty in love with them. Today is my first day really riding on them, and they're like glass. So I don't want to go too far into detail about it because I have more time for that on another day. But expect that in the near future. Um, I haven't had a single person that told me that they haven't liked them yet, so expect really good things from those Bridgestone S20s. So, I've got um, an advanced rider training course coming up out at Miller Motorsports Park that I'm going to be doing a pretty big highlight about, so look forward to that as well. I've just got a lot of stuff coming up. And then we're going to be having a Hollow Willy ride in October. And I'm going to get tons of footage of that and it's going to be awesome. So I have a lot in store for the next couple of months. Or month and next month I guess. And then it's winter and that sucks really sad. Really bad. That makes me really sad. Bleh. So I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching. Thanks to Icon for giving me the opportunity to review a bunch of their stuff in the next coming vlogs. So, have a great day everyone, and I will be vlogging again very shortly. Bye!